disconnected. You're roboting a little bit, though. Yeah, my my internet just said fuck you. Okay, well I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick then. Okay. Are y'all there? Hello? Is anybody still there? Hey, all right. Yeah, my internet decided to just vomit all over itself for a minute and just said fuck everything. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Uh, we were, I was on that boss. I'm still there. Uh, I figured out a somewhat cheesy way to beat it, and I'm just gonna keep finishing it that way. All right, so just are sitting we back? here. Yeah, we're back. Ah, fantastic, fantastic. So I found I found this out though. What's that? Just sit here. Hold down shine. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, oh, hey, can you can you reshare the uh the? Oh, thing? I don't have. Yeah, Skype killed I the call. So hang on. Yeah, because I can't see I can't see what you're doing right now. God damn it, ads, go away. <laughs> like, there's a fucking ad I can't close on Skype that's blocking all the options. <sighs> like, what the fuck? That is the literal de definition of a dick move. Oh my god. There we go. Alright. Now we should be back and good. <laughs> but yeah, you just okay, sit here. Oh, yes, I see you now. Yeah, you just sit here in this corner and hold down the shine. Because <laughs> he never goes far enough to the door to hit you, and it reflects those tops back at him, and so you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that boss was so hard it crashed the internet. <laughs> yeah, it, it crashed the internet for a second. I wonder if they figured this. I wonder if like they figured this out when they when they made the level. They might have. They might not have. You know, you know, you got to think. A lot of creators will create something, but they can't necessarily beat it. So there's a little cheese in it. Well, I'm pretty sure that's why they put all that crap down there. Right. But that one wasn't bad. Like, I'll, I'll give that a thumbs up. I, 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 I can. See I wanted to show. Off, I wanted to show off the spin top thing and how it worked, and that's what it was. All right. So now we're gonna go. Start you looking show, at. You show off the creator tools now, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go to the build. We're gonna load the level I have up. This is just. I need to delete that. That's just the tutorial spam. Skull but, beat spike. Right. So I don't. Like I said, I only have this first screen done, but we'll show off what it is. You have the skull shield. By default. Yeah, and the Skull Shield, when you're on a spike, y you live. But, it'll absorb enemy bullets as part of its shield properties. Uh. <laughs> so, that's the whole idea, is you have to dodge everything. Dodge! We, and you, well, so I guess you have to like time his, uh, his shots, too. Right, right. Like, this is meant to kind of teach you, okay, you gotta dodge his shit. You gotta use the skull shield to be on spikes. You know, that's kind of the idea of this first screen. But this is all I have. Like, this is it. <laughs> you know. You haven't, you haven't quite decided what, el what else to do. I mean, well, I mean, I have a few ideas, but, like, you know, that's the basic idea of what I want to do. So. Now, this is something I haven't done a lot, and it's still... So, you know, you have all the controls up here, you have the settings, you can enable sliding and charge shots, and what type of charge shot you want. So you can do four, five, or six, but since I'm using the skull thing, there's no need to do that. Um, this is where you edit the weapons, so I can give all the weapons I want. Uh, yeah, it is the Mega Man 1, dude, Firestorm. Yeah, yeah, that was fine. That was, uh, yeah. Flame Man's weapon. So these are the weapons available. You have the Cutter, Firestorm, Electric Meme, Quick Boomerang, Bomber, Metal Blade, Snake Spin, Missile, Skull, Flash, and Power Shot, whatever that was. Wait, Power um, Shot? Key Shot. Oh, Mega, Mega Man 4. Okay, That's, never mind. yeah. Pharaoh Shot. Pharaoh, yeah. Uh, the Gravity Hold, Star Crash, and the Kick, the Windstorm, the Silver Axe, and the Plant. I don't plant Barrier. 
And then other is Shine and NATO, which those are the ones I showed off as fun, you know. And you know they're gonna add more shit. Yeah, okay, so they don't they do not have the rush marine then. No. But yeah, they have fresh coil jet and the beams. So any anything you add to this one, this is what the buster defaults in. And you know, there's no way that really tells you this, but whatever you add to here is gonna have infinite energy. It's not gonna have an energy bar. So as you see, you know, I can use skull barrier. There's no energy there. And so you can actually add in like your Buster somewhere else, and the Buster will have energy. So if you switch to it, my Buster now has energy that goes down. So just yeah, I, I, I do think that is really cool. That's yeah. So that's a nice little thing you can do. It's a neat little feature. Uh, you can select the music you want. Everybody so. knows Wily Stage Wily Stage One is the is the best one. Well, from which Mega Man? Mega Man 2, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you so you can select a lot of different things. They even have more things in here than what they have available to fight and things like that. But there's Air Man. Every time, every time I lose. We'll go with Gemini Man's for now because I like that music. Yeah. So yeah, you can select the music. Um, got a decent selection. This is all the you know actual background stuff. The blocks, yeah. Well, this is the background, I think. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Kusenman. Oh, Kusenman. <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This, this is the background. So whatever we put in the background, and this is the actual blocks you use the terrain. So you got the different types. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with the Gemini style because I really like that one too. Because but ice, because yeah. ice crystals. You got all the ladders. That's neat that you can choose a ladder. You got all the and different spike spikes. <laughs> yep. Uh, then you got Mega Man himself, where you start him because you can start him going however. And then enemies. So, you know, you got these nice wall spikes. I'm sure we'll be using a lot of these. <laughs> oh, the turrets? Yeah. Yeah. Funny jump guys. Respawning guys. All that. See, like, they don't have the tigers or anything, though. So. Yeah, they don't have any of the big ones yet. Right. I mean, hopefully, I guess, hopefully I I you know, I know... I mean, this is still new, and I know patches are happening, so... Ho hopefully a lot of more things will come out. It'll be awesome. Honestly, uh, that's a little less than I was expecting, but it's still quite functional. Right, and then you got power-ups and other odd things. Checkpoints, the, uh, adding water. What, what's the Mega Buster power-up? Uh, Mega... What? Oh, no, no, like... like oh, one more over? Back to the weapons? Yeah, yeah oh, what's that? Oh, those are the block types. Um, Those are block types? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. The, the, so you have to shoot the block with a certain weapon. I don't know how to add that weapon to it, though. Oh, it says above it. You can change what it is. Oh, because you have to select which what they have equipped. Right. So I can select the skull barrier. So, like, one of them's skull, and I think one of them's nothing. So, yeah. The skull one will die if it hits the skull one. The other one is just there. Okay. So that's what those are. Uh, very simple right click to delete, so that's nice. It's a simple point and click interface. Right. That's probably the one thing this does have over Mario Maker. You have a mouse. <laughs> and a keyboard, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, having to use that bullshit uh... instead of the stylus stuff. Yeah, you got the, the fire beams. The These are the, the kill beams and everything. Alright, so let's see. Conveyors. One is instant death. One is... One's instant death. One hurts you over time. I don't know what the third one does. Put it in there and find out. I guess. Okay, it just hurts you. Oh, oh it hurts you and blocks you. Oh, no, it's, it's like just one hit. Yeah, it's just a single hit. So that, that one's interesting. That's not bad. Um, Actually, I can see you doing some interesting stuff like, you know, pinballing around like that. Right. I'm guessing What's, this is the that's delay. That's kind of speed. I'm guessing that's the delay. So the longer it goes. Oh, yeah. It's how many uh, flashes it goes. 
Yeah, probably. So yeah, it, it waits a long time. So that's, that's not bad. Like I said, I have not really spent any time with this at all, and f as far as the uh, creator go the, tools uh, go. Yeah, go click the uh, Robot Masters. Yeah. The, oh, like the springs and bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, Robot Masters, yeah, you don't have... you have. This is where you get the doors. Cup Man, Bomb Man, Crash Man, Metal Man, Elect Man, Spin Man, Toad Man, Pharaoh Man... I forget his Stone actual Man name. And, uh, Napalm. Napalm, Night Man, and Plant Man. So, so not yeah, a party. whole ton of bosses available yet. Which is probably why you see a lot of Stone Man and Metal Man That's, type. I, of, you I, know, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know there was only two bosses per game so far. Right, right. So you know, once once more bosses get it put in, it would be a lot better. But yeah, it, the boss fights are kind of limited still, outside of whatever but which is why you can imagine once they do once they put that in there you'll get um all the bullshit with with the uh, flash man oh god <laughs> flash man's not really that hard though no 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 it's not that he's hard but like people are gonna like put him in random po spots like like that that race level you were oh in. yeah yeah they'll put they him in like one flash of those man chase levels that. Yeah, so you can adjust their weaknesses. Oh, enable cool. weakness, primary, enable boss immunity, immune to certain weapons. You can choose the boss music. So okay, yeah, that, that that's neat. You, you can actually, you know, have all that weakness stuff in there, so. So yeah, they, they give a decent amount of options. Oh, seriously? So... Now, let me see if I can remember. Yeah, you use the arrow keys to move around. So this is oh, great at scary. Now, you see how far this is going. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I screened for quite a while there. Like, I don't even know how to get back yet. Okay, there it is. <laughs> see, but, I, um, but honestly, the, the level design setup is kind of brilliant in this. Yeah, it, it's like, got a like lot of good it, stuff. It definitely shows the screens. Now, is there a way to make it, um, make them not be one screen? Yes, I'm... I gotta remember, because, like, I did the tutorial, but it's been a while. Oh, yes, yeah, seriously. Um, it's been a few weeks, and I didn't really do anything. There is a way to join the screens where they'll do a screen transition, or they won't. Now it's now it's a deal remember. where like you can only if you fight a boss, like if you kill a boss, then you then the game level's over, right? Right. If you kill a boss, the level will end. Um, it gives you a few seconds, and then it's just like okay, level's over. You know, it plays you, the but fanfare but get, but and whatnot. The, uh, but if you, yeah, but if you get the uh, the end orb, then then you can also end it that way. Right. Uh, I remember there was some way to do it. But... Yeah, just one of those ones things you just need to remember. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Once you have it highlighted, this right here will uh, affect. Oh, okay. It like disables the screen break. Okay, oh, right. I like so... that. So. So yeah, this is not a screen break. It's just gonna keep scrolling. Oh, that's super cool. But if I turn that off and then do it, it's gonna do a transition. So you can control that. So oh, that that's how you do that, yeah. So like for the first one, yeah, I'll probably wanna I don't know if I want to transition or not. Actually I probably won't. And let it go up. <laughs> like he he's he's trapped in there. <laughs> he's trapped like rats. Yep. I wonder if there's another <laughs> Another uh, brick that'll complement this one. That's not bad. I'll just keep it as a ceiling, though. That's actually not bad for a complement on it. No, I can see it. Now, what would be really neat is if later on you you actually be able to color them yourself. 
Well, I know the enemies you can actually uh, pallet swap a few. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, the whole idea is you you know you'll be using spike platforms for everything and getting everywhere while now dodging long, enemy now bullets. Now, how long does the uh, the skull shield last? Is until it's hit? Yes. Okay. The skull shield will last until it is hit. Yeah, make it blue. That way, that way it'll blend into the wall. Nah, see, I'm not a dick like that. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not out to troll you and make you go, ah, gotcha. This is just like, nah, dodge this shit, bitch. You, you see it coming. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's still funny, though. So that's the <laughs> only thing. That's the only thing it probably uses, like, a quick select thing where you could put certain items here and have a oh, quick yeah, select like, menu. Like, like, a, like where you save the item. Right. So, you, that you know. Would be nice. You, you know, things that you're using often, you could be like, oh, let's uh, do that. So let's have a nice little climb going. Come down. I, I am not necessarily a good level designer, y'all, so... <laughs> 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 don't 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 think like what is he doing? This is terrible. It's like yeah, it might be terrible, but I'm trying. Well, to be fair, you're just kind of dicking around at the moment. Well, I mean, I do have a little bit of it. Like I said, I, I kind of want that whole passive pacifist thing you have to do. Yeah, the pacifist run. Yeah. Right. Uh, I need to go not so high there. Well, well, you're basically gonna put it like to where you're always on spikes, right? Pretty much. Yeah. You know that that's kind of the idea. Is you're always gonna be on spikes for the most part. It's just, this is just kind of a, alright, let's go up a few screens, have a climb, go over type deal. Do dodge a and couple of turrets. Feel in, yeah. And then fill in with spikes now. You know, there's going to be spikes everywhere. Have some spike jumps. Uh, does it even block you from hitting, hit, hitting your head too? Uh, what do you, if you, oh, put the like whenever you shield jump, on it, um, like whenever, you, whenever you got skull, skull shield on. Yeah. It, it's I believe so. vulnerability. Okay. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess it makes sense. All right. I know this is going to be a little no, perilous. too easy. <laughs> That's actually nicely timed. Actually, it is. I like that. I See, I know you don't want to be be a dick and put one on the put one on the ceiling. Aw. I'm like maybe later in the level. You know, it's, it's. Oh yeah, yeah, not to start. With. Yeah, it, you can't do it at the start. <laughs> that was not nicely timed. Well, it actually is because if you just run forward with it, you got to do it. But you can hit the button again. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually recasting. Oh, That's okay. why I'm living there, is I'm recasting it. Okay, I can't make that jump. <laughs> Playtesting! Now, uh, not, now, can you do, like, Mario Maker, where you can, um... Where you, where you can, like, start, ba start back where you left off? I'm sure you can. Like, it, I could just, uh, start him somewhere, I think. Yeah, you just have to set the start start button. Pro problem is, is you gotta make sure to activate. It, there, it doesn't give you a platform <laughs> like it, like Mario Maker, but. See, he, see, you know what'd be a dick move? Disappearing spikes. I don't know if you can do that. I need to move this over a little. You can make to there, so maybe I can get rid of that one in the lower ones. So yeah, th this might not be as interesting as playing the levels, but this is probably what the rest <laughs> of the stream is going to be. Um, 
You could you could put an enemy in that in that hole. Oh, I'm definitely gonna add some enemies and stuff. I'm just <laughs> making sure I can get up, so you can make that jump. Like you know, you can get up there. So now, you know, the question is, do I add another route, maybe? And then add some enemies. And then you kind of like, all right, now let's see what's happening. This guy would be a real dick. <laughs> <laughs> what I actually, you know, I know you, I know you kind of want to do with the spikes, but I think it would be an interesting deal of like, one way up is spikes and the other way up is disappearing blocks. That could be interesting. But, like, the way up with disappearing blocks is littered with enemies. Yeah. Like, there's more enemies there. Uh, actually, uh, oh, oh, are these the guys that chase you? No, those are, they just go in a set pattern. But, you know, again, they're going to take your, put your shield away. So, you got to make sure. <laughs> I do have sliding enabled. Yeah. See, that's the whole thing is, you know, there's going to be enemies that aren't necessarily that much of a threat to you, unless you kill them. <laughs> and then you'll probably die. That's kind of the whole idea is if you kill the enemies, you'll die. Just like that. Yep. That, that, that's the idea I'm going for. Like, the climb, though, it's a little hard to do it as a climb. Um. I think I think these will probably be the most terrifying thing on this on this section. <laughs> um maybe put one there. But you know, this this is probably going to be a little difficult. It's just <laughs> 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 But I you know, difficult's one thing, fair is another, you know. It's kind that, of fair. That, that's my take on it. Is like, I don't care, you know, like, I'm happy with difficult stuff. Is it fair? You know? Well, you can play Mega Man 2 on difficult mode. I've beaten it on difficult mode with Buster only. Now, now, the thing is, like, uh, in Japan, they did not have a easy, a, a normal mode. Right, right. It was, it was the, by default, the difficult mode or whatever. <laughs> because us, because us terrible Gaijin can't beat the game. Um. See, this is what I need to test: is make sure the weapon stays on the screen transi transitions. Oh yes. Because if it doesn't, <laughs> that's a problem, and I have to make sure to avoid that. It does Ooh. not. All right. It does not. Well, these are the So that the is something, part. yeah, that is something to keep in mind. Screen transitions need to be safe. Need to be kept at a minimum and and therefore n and have no death involved. Right. So, yeah, I'll have to make sure that's decent. Uh Outside of like a few pathways, I'm not really sure what all I can do though, you know. Oh, I don't yeah. have any like grand ideas for setups. It's just kind of like, well, you know, make some hallways with enemies and dodge them and see what happens, you know. Well, so, it's certainly yeah. not the worst level I've ever seen. <laughs> see, I, I'm all about being fair. <laughs> like I said, you know. Super Meat Boy's fair. It's super difficult, but it's fair. Uh, I said actually here here you should make a low ceiling. Yeah, I, I I know that's one thing I'm gonna do is have a low ceiling where it's like you just have to time your walking. Um, I wonder if a checkpoint here maybe I don't know. Maybe if it's more difficult, well I don't know. That's the problem I have with level designs. I'll get like, I'll get these interesting ideas, but then I'm just like, I don't know what to do for anything else. So I have half a screen, you know. Uh. Well, and that's the thing though, because and a lot of times when you make these levels like that, it's it's always about. Are oh, you gonna put the turret up there? No, I think you have to put it up top. Like it has to be attached to a wall. 
You can't attach it to spikes. Oh, well, apparently you can attach it to spikes. You can attach it to midair. <laughs> okay, but why, though? Why not? <laughs> yeah, those things will be terrifying if I'm not careful with them. It's just, everything, it's on a grid, is the thing. Everything yeah, on a yeah. grid. So, the enemies have to be on a grid, and then you choose what they're attached to. Um, wow. Although, I'd, for aesthetics, attaching it to spikes don't look good. So yeah, I, I think I think using this glass is gonna be better for low, for the bottom part. Oh okay. Cause I mean this, these just look terrible when they're naked like that. It's just like. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Like just just look at the bottom of it. That doesn't look good, you know. Yeah, I see it. I see it. The top looks fine, but not. Yeah, the bottom. top looks fine, and coming out of like that, it looks all right too. Although, just a wall of it doesn't look great either, so... And that weird corner piece just looks, just looks out of place there. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's because it was at the top screen, so I was like, oh. Oh, okay. Uh, like I said, I wonder if there's anything else that might go with it well. That, I don't want ice physics, though. Come on, you know you want to have spike ice. No. Even though you can't. What is this? Oh, okay. It's it's. That's a little weird looking, but that's cool, the though. Mega Man Six, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I guess uh, I'm gonna be stuck Blizzard, to those two. Uh, or I think that was Blizzard Man. Yeah. Um. The Norwegian skier. <laughs> Let's see. See, this is what's so great about doing this on a Monday now. Because, like, I would have had to quit, like, 20 minutes ago because of work. <laughs> <laughs> but I can still keep going for, like, another two hours if I want. <laughs> I don't know if I will, but, you know. We don't know if we will. <laughs> but, you know, there, there's no time limit doing this on an off day now instead of a work day, which is what Wednesday was. So so that kind of brought out the change. I did, I did want to actually change that the side graphic that's up up here. Right, right. Um, for those on hey. stream, like I wanted to change the text a little more because like the gaming part's still hard to read, I think. But I I don't really know Photoshop. I found a tutorial that that's, helped me make isn't that. that. The problem though, like I I don't really know Photoshop either. Well, see, like I made the the side graphic that's above me on my stream. Um, in fact, you know, if you can't see it, this thing. Like, I made that. But, you know, I found a couple different tutorials that just kind of walk me through how to do different aspects of it. And I promptly forgot everything. And that was over a year ago I made it. So I just changed the text on it. And I wanted to change it more, but I'm just like, I don't know how. I don't know what I'm doing. And there's something flying around in here. So. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of blanking on how to do this. <laughs> Yeah, that's the other problem is like you know like I have this one idea for the level, but I don't have a solid idea for the design of it. You know. Strangely enough, like that's the interesting thing about Mega Man levels is they all seem very very simple to design, but they're not. Right. Well, that's I mean that's a lot of games really. Well, yeah, I know, but everything like, is just like oh yeah, I got that, and then you start all and you're like oh wait a minute. Well, like, for example, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, like, look at a Mario level and say, oh, that's really easy to design. Right. Like, and I definitely wouldn't look at a Sonic level like that. But Mega Man is a little bit different because, it's like, because, like I said, most of them is all about, you know, just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> right. But, but, but you get what I'm saying. Right, right. No, I get it. Yeah. I do have slide enabled, so I can do things. You do like have slide that. enabled, so you can do stuff like that. Um. Now you, I thought you said there wasn't, there wasn't a, your thing on uh, the skull shield was not limited. What do you mean? 
Like, the Skull Shield, uh, is... Like, you don't have to recast it. I don't, unless I get hit by something. Unless you get hit. Oh, right. okay, okay. So, the, I the idea is you won't ever cast it but the once, you know. If you're good, yeah. But, you know, you... I, the thing is, I say that... I might force you to actually have to jump, take a hit, and then recast it midair. You know, that's kind of the idea, too, is that might be something like right here. You know, not necessarily there, but later on in the level or something, have something where it's like, oh, I'm about to be hit. Like, let me see, you know, like, I'm in there, oh, I'm about to be hit, get hit, recast, don't die. But... They should let you decide how many f how many shots you want to fire out of those things. Yeah, if you could edit enemies a little more, that would be cool too. But again, oh, that oh, might mean, be something in the future. Oh, you mean like have uh, have like Mets fire uh, Gemini lasers? Well, maybe not that much, <laughs> but you know, maybe like the speed of enemies would you know, like just the pattern and speed of enemies would be a simple I enough. I don't know if you do that Mario Maker. I don't think you can either, but you know. If, if, you know, if you're looking at things to improve on this, that would be a nice addition where you could oh, yeah, yeah. slow down its fire rate or change how often it fires, you know, how many it fires in a pattern. Or like the Sniper Joes, you know, instead of having firing three, you could have them fire one or five, you know. See, that would really dick with people. It would. But, you know, it would also add options without making things too terribly crazy. So Thanks. it would add options without going too crazy. Right. So like, you know, maybe let's add one of these here and here. <laughs> See what that does. Now remember now remember you can stand on those things, so Yep. <laughs> I keep dying to my own things that I know. Well, of course you like that's just how it works. See, this is where I'm talking about like, okay. <laughs> I got trolled. <laughs> you mean you trolled yourself? Yes, I trolled myself. Person, I think there should be another, another. Oh, another See, that's turtle. the, huh? No, no, I guess not. Uh, because because it's kind of interesting. Like you introduce them to the turret. It's like, oh, by the way, there's wall turrets up here. Right, right, right. Good you design. Good you design. Can, you can easily oh, get past this. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. So. Let me delete that and put this here, start him here, test something, cause yeah, that's a problem. Oh, cause you can't stop? You can't stop in a one wide gap with a slide. So gotta make sure that's uh, not... Make, uh, uh, actually no, 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 delete, put that back, put, put all that back, I got an idea. Um, yeah, go ahead and delete that one on the bottom. This like, one? Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah. So there you'll stand that up. Could work. Yeah, that could work, but... I don't, I don't, I, but I, you I, still need to put a place to jump. Actually, you can make the jump. Okay, it didn't... Well, it well, didn't activate my weapon. Die. It didn't activate the weapon. I was like, activate your weapon. Oh, it didn't. Oh, okay, you can make yeah, the jump. Yeah, you, you can make a three high jump. I think that's the limit. I think three high... Yeah, three high... Actually, I kind of like that. Yeah. That 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 was an interesting run, but I I think the um I think the one on the bottom make th makes things a little too difficult. Maybe for right now, you know. Th th this is again, this is all just kind of simple design and testing. Yeah. Just slowly introduce things to the player. Well, like I said, if you want if you want to have another one in there, maybe add him. Maybe add in the second one on top. Yeah. Add him a little further away. Yeah. And then maybe near the end we'll throw a couple more like that. And, exactly. You know, like yeah. you said, you, you gotta just introduce the mechanic, and then later on you just like, oh fuck, you're gonna die. See, see, and now that you've introduced both of those things, you can also then you can introduce more turrets. Right. No, wait, this is what I want. That does look cool when you when you put it like that. Yeah.
See, this is also my problem, is I get caught up in, like, aesthetic sometimes. Yeah. And it's like, it, it doesn't matter, just get the level down, and then you can fix it later, but it's just like, no, I gotta do this now. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, like this screen is just terrible, like, I, I gotta add, add a whole bunch to this stuff. I don't like these enemies, either. I'm gonna add something else there. I already added them! Now I have to get rid of them! Yeah. I might add a few of these, just a simple one or two, or... Actually, the bats might not be a bad choice. Uh, they take so long to activate, but yeah. Uh, could have ooh, a couple of hammer drill platforms. That would be interesting. The what? The oh, hammer these. Drill. Yeah, yeah, those guys. Put those on a couple of platforms. Yeah, that could that could not be terrible. I might need to expand this a little somehow, but like put him say right here. Now, if you do that, will that just float? Will he just float in midair like that? Probably not, but I was just gonna do that. Oh, okay, that's just fine. So now, when you're coming into this area, you'll be coming in. Surprise, Hammer Joe! Right, and you can't kill him; you just have to dodge him. Honestly, I think a couple more Hammer Joes would make that an interesting run. Yeah, that might be what I do, is throw another Hammer Joe or two, and maybe get rid of this turret and put a Hammer Joe there instead. So what about Sniper Joes? I think that might be decent. Oh, run uh, that. Run that right cause, now. Because a turret, yeah, that turret there kind of introduces it. I might change this section up a little bit to force you to do it, but yeah. Whoops. <laughs> you, you know, this section right here is just going to have them like, man, this guy's a dick. Well, I don't know. Like, because once, you know, it, it's just being patient. Like, there's, Oh, yeah, yeah, you just got to be patient. Like, that really isn't, whoops. That really isn't that hard of a section. It really isn't. It really isn't. You know, it's just, it, it, it's psychologically, you're like, oh, my God, there's spikes everywhere. What's going, you know. <laughs> Everything you know is wrong! Pretty much, but yeah, like... Okay, that jump might need to tweak a little. Yeah, I thought you could make that jump. You can, it's just, I, I, it's one of those difficult jumps, and I think playing it now again is like, oh, maybe I should tweak that. So you can make it, it's just... It's one of those, you have to be halfway off the ledge to make it. You know. Oh, it's a pixel perfect jump. Not pixel perfect, but you know, you you gotta have a foot off the ledge to make it. Cause you know, as you've played Mega Man, you you know you can get quite far off the ledge before you fall. Oh yeah, definitely. So you gotta be like that far off or something before you can make it. See, like that turret. I'm gonna need to change that section because the turret doesn't fire. The turret what? See, like you gotta be like right there to make it. If I'm further back, you don't make it. But well, did you want to have maybe something coming in from the top? Well, I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the turret. I'm gonna keep the turret there, but I'm gonna force him to go down and then up instead of coming up. How's that? Like instead of having this like that, have it come over up like that. So you have to go down. Oh, that's gonna be mean. And then come up. And then you can come up the side here into the Joe section. So that would force the turret introduction a little more. But it might be a little too difficult where it's at. I don't know. It could be easy to just kill like that too. <laughs> yeah. But it still forces that introduction better and say like, hey, these are going to fire at you. So, yeah, let's add one more spike there while I'm thinking about it. Oh, just to make the, uh... The jump a little easier, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that you really need to, because it's it's not like you... Yeah, you're... it's not. It's just, I... Yeah, it, it's... It's a tough jump, and I just don't want it that tough. That's fine. I mean, th th that's understandable. You know, I I've never been a fan of, like, pixel-perfect jumps and the ideas of things like that. It's just like, eh. I mean, like, if it's not intended, sure, you know. 
that's fine. If it's if it's something that you know the developers didn't intend, but someone found out, that's one thing. As an intentional design choice, pixel perfect jumps are the fucking horrible. You know, and that's not pixel perfect, but it's it's far enough where it's just like. Eh. Yeah, the, the interesting thing is, in a level like this, you're not really dodging anything. What do you mean? I mean, you are, but you're not like dodging um, uh, pits or anything like that. Right. I mean, there might uh, be. Honestly, a few, uh, but... honestly, if you don't want them to kill the turret, I think it needs to be further up. Yeah, it it's something just to see. I don't know. The thing is, I have that turret there to introduce them. So, like, you know, you'll actually start the level over here. Yeah, run, run through the level. Yeah, run through the level as you've got as you have it designed. That'll there. introduce the turret. So that'll kind of hopefully introduce the oh, you get shot and dead mechanic. Like, let me try it again. So, so this is gonna be his actual start. So you have that one enemy there introduce the whole mechanic to you. This guy. Okay, if you just run, you won't. You'll be fine. But maybe move him down a little. Yeah, because he's not really. You're not really like. Like if I move him down one, that might change it enough where it'll introduce it better. Yes, that's exactly what I want. Perfect. That forces I like, I you to like move. What you're doing. That forces you to move and forces you to acknowledge what it's gonna do. So it forces you to jump into it to absorb the bullet and then recast or something. And that one there is fine. Then you know. I don't know why. It, I I know I know what you're doing, but it feels like the level's a little empty. Well, sure it is for now, but. That's a lot of that's gonna come from more aesthetics and stuff too, though. I suppose. You know, like yeah, there, there's a lot of dry spots, but that's just because I'm trying to get down a basic level design and yeah. flow first. You know, like I mean, yeah, this section is very empty, and I could probably just shift this over a little bit. You know, like basically cut out. You know, start all this right here. Like, take this full screen and have it move to right here. No, no, no. Actually, no. I think there should just be another enemy there. That something could be. Sl something slow moving. That could be something, too. Um, Maybe one of these guys? Just, just, just something to, like, to get them moving. All right. Like, uh... Actually, yeah, that guy. Like, the, uh, the propeller the dropper, yeah. Like, because they, they drop on you, right? Yep. Because I think that would be a good uh, uh, a good enemy to put there. Could be. Yeah, that I like that. That adds a little more introduction mechanics without being anything too bad. Maybe something else in that climb, but... Again, like, this is only the f first few screens of level. I don't want to go too crazy. Oh, I know, you I know. know. I, like I said, I just think... But I do, I, just... I do like that dropper there. Yeah. So that does help that section out a little more. Climb up. I like the hammer, three Hammer Joes. Those are fine. Three Hammer Joes. Uh, I, I, I would probably say maybe one more turret. <laughs> not, the, not, not, no, not with the Hammer Joes. Oh, not, not with, with the Hammer Joes. Uh, down. Like, down here? Uh, uh, like in this area. Like that maybe, maybe a little bit be. close to the top. That might be a little more difficult than I really want right now. But hey, that's fine. We'll see. see. Yeah, see what it looks like. And you're right. It could be a little bit more difficult. See, yeah, because I like that because like you can hit this. Yeah. Okay. That's like, not. That's not that, so bad. You can hit that. You can hit that one on the bottom. Oops. That's not so but bad. The, yeah. But that top one will will keep firing at you because you can't reach it. I like. It. I'm liking this. This is coming along great. <laughs> 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 so yeah. So we come up here. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Um. Kind of like adding that one again, just to kind of be like, oh hey, look. Be careful of things like this. Like, be careful. Roof turrets. <laughs> yep. Um. Where are we going to go from here, though? Uh. 
Uh, are you gonna have a boss fight or? I don't know. I don't know. Like a boss fight, depending on the boss, could be really difficult. Especially if I keep with the theme of spike floors, because you know you'd have to jump to hit them. But if you just run into them, then you lose your shield. And yeah, I don't. I don't know if I. I think after this, though, definitely a checkpoint. Actually. Well, honestly, like because you have so few bosses available, so at the moment, you may not have the right boss to fight yet. That's true too, but. I mean, like, later on, you know they're going to add more Robot Masters. Right. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a checkpoint. Where were the checkpoints at? I, I mean, honestly, an interesting boss fight to fight against would probably be somebody like Guts, man. Uh, here they are. Um. Uh, actually, another interesting thing to do, if you wanted to do a boss fight, give them another weapon as the shine. That could be it, interesting. Because, like, cause that, that keeps up the reflect theme. Right. And, uh, actually... I don't know actually, why these no, I know, are different. I know, the perfect, I know the perfect boss ah, fight. Ah, that's why. He's not in the game yet, but Needle Man. Yeah. Needleman would be the perfect boss fight. So yeah, the checkpoint, I'm just gonna have some celebratory whatever, I don't know. Party balls? Yeah, I might put some of those in, because why not? I don't know. Oh, those were on the boss screen, weren't they? Uh, yeah. yes, there they go. Now these you have to be careful with, because they can end the level if they can hit them. Oh, like, really? That, that's what they do. It ends the level. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I didn't it, even know it's that. another way to end the level. If you touch it, if you shoot it, it ends the level. Oh. <laughs> so you gotta be careful with those. Like, <laughs> you know, that could be a cheese. Like, oh, wait a minute. Whoops. Well, actually, I thought they were just, they, they just held power-ups. Uh, in the original game, yeah. Where they, where they were from, but in this one, they end the level. Th those are from Smash Brothers, right? Uh, I thought they had some in the Mega Man, the way you'd shoot it and it'd drop a power-up. No, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I thought they had some of that in Mega Man. So, yeah, this is going to be a screen transition, though. I want that its own screen. Um... Oh, man. Uh, I might have to call the stream soon, because I am hungry. Well, it is 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. I have not eaten. And it's been, I've been up <laughs> streaming I, I for... Dinner, I had dinner right before the stream started. Like, I haven't. And I've been streaming for two and a half hours. And I only woke yeah, up I like know, 30 minutes before you. that. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, this was fun. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to call this stream for now. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, yes. Maybe soon you'll see this level online if you go look for it. I'll definitely make a note or say when I've finished it. Uh, you know, for those of you in the Midnight Troll Squad group on Facebook, I'll definitely be posting that there. Shh, that's a secret. That no, group's a secret. No, it's not. And anyone <laughs> out there watching, like, if you want a Facebook group, Midnight Troll Squad, look it up. It's a fun group. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, we're not a goddamn hug factory. Remember that. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, next week, uh, I think I'm going to try out a game I've never played before. I was like just... Yes. I was, uh, just gifted it to me. It is a new game. Relatively new, anyway. Maybe a year old. If you haven't played it, it's new to you. Yeah, I haven't played it. It is something I'd kind of wanted to look at and check out. So, we'll, we'll get into that next week, I believe, will be my first playthrough ever will be of that. And, you know, of course, I probably won't finish it because it's a few hours, but I might. Depends. Uh, thanks for joining me, though, everyone. Hope you enjoy the new show and what I'm going to be covering and everything. Like I said, I do still want to cover a lot of old stuff like I did on Way Back Wednesday Gaming. But I'm running out of things I remember or <laughs> I can't find working copies of what I do remember. So I'm kind of like boxed in where it's like, oh, I can't do anything. So hence the new show where I'm just going to play whatever the fuck I play. Whether it's old, new, or whatever. It's it's just going to be whatever every week. So. 
could be great. Oh yeah, it'll be a lot of fun though. So thanks for joining me, everyone, and I will see y'all next week. Right.